Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Varakti, and welcome back to my Sword the Court Let's Play. As you can see right here on the screen, we are on day 44! We've gone about a month and a half or so, and I think it's been going pretty good so far. We got a gear, we got a bunch of money, and we got a starry-haired lady, Advisor Pia. Oh! Oh, hey! <laughs> So, so one of the things we've been trying to do is work our way onto the Council of Crowns. The, the all of the biggest, the best, the baddest, the goodest, <laughs> the finest, the dinest kingdoms in the land are on the King of Crowns. And we are trying to make it there as well because Veractania is nothing to laugh at. Even the great Sultan himself, who once thought Veractania small, now frequently sends caravans to our fair nation. And, and as you can see, we, we have a bit of construction going on there in the middle of the city. That's fine, that's totally normal. Uh, but one of the things is that we were supposed to get a, a meeting with Advisor Pia, and here's Advisor Pia right now at the very beginning of the episode, which I'm pretty gr glad about. I didn't know how long it was gonna actually take. So, so here we are. Let's 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 get into it. Greetings, I am Pia, advisor to King Andromedus of the Celestial Kingdom. What a beautiful castle you have here! Everything is spotless. That is because we did not give our partying butler a break, and we made sure everything was clean before you got here. I was just wandering through your city and was quite impressed with your citizens. You know, the Council of Crowns is searching for a fifth member. Really? Oh, yeah. You don't say, I had no idea, but I mean, if, if you're looking, I, I guess I can do that. Is that something you might be interested in? <laughs> no! No, just kidding. Yes, totally! I thought as much. I'll inform King Andromedus. I'm sure he would be happy to meet you and discuss the details. I'm totally sure that he will come here, because I have a feeling... We haven't moved from our kingly throne in quite some time. Uh, over a month, so we, I don't think our legs even work. Our little spindly legs, look at them down there. Tiny little, little stick legs, probably don't even work. Oh my, was that the woman? Was that woman from the Celestial Kingdom? This is so exciting! The Celestial King sits at the head of the Council of Crowns. Oh, the head honcho. Any connection with them will surely do us well in the future. We're gonna make sure to buddy up with them. Unless, of course, they're gonna ask us to go to war with some small, unsuspecting sit towns. <laughs> In which case, we might have some problems. But I don't think that this is kind of a moralistic game like that, despite the, the choices we make. Any mysteries afoot, I can do some snooping for a small fee if you were... interested. Yes! Mm -hmm. Let us do some snooping and uncover the... I'll uncover the truth and report back to you. The truth is out there, Skelly! Go find it! Ha! <laughs> no. It looks like he wants somebody to pat his belly. Well, of course, as the king, it is my job to mm -hmm. pat this cat's belly. <laughs> oh, Granary stock has been infected. It'll cost us to replace it, but if we don't, people could get sick. Should we do it? Yes, of course. That is mm -hmm. terrible. No, spend no expense when it comes to the, <laughs> the citizens of Ractania. Yes, our people's health is worth the cost. <laughs> Could I trouble you for a sandwich? Uh, once again, I would like to take my tiny little work mason hands and trouble you for a sandwich because I know that you, the royal king man, has a sandwich in his fridge. I've seen it. it says king on it. I kind of want one just like that. Well, you know what? I, you, uh, uh, yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. I am excited to eat this. I can't say no, I'm a yes man. Day 44 complete. Happiness is at 15. Wealth is down a bit because we had to repair the grain restocks. But that's important, guys. We don't want people eating infected food. That would be very drastic indeed. You feeling a spooky today? Yep. So, yep, I know that was gonna happen. Heck <laughs> yeah, let the blood flow. Ah, ah, ah. One. One victim. Ah, ah, ah. Again? Again? That just... we just replaced it! <laughs> Keep your... Please, disinfect the... Uh, hello. 
I am from the neighboring Russian kingdom. I love the cat of Rizal. Oh no, they've lived quite a bit of life. Have you ever read into the ocean kingdom? That's my, my mirror person talk. <laughs> No, I can't say that I have. I would love to go sometime, though, if I could remove my tush from this kush. Oh, I see. You're not writing a swimmer, are you? I can't fault you for that, I suppose. I would have liked to. Oh, did you uncover some truths? Reporting in, I discovered an underground crime in the city's eastern ward. I've already taken steps to break up their operations. But I have a bit of extra gold to bring in the guard to make some additional arrests. Yes! People's mm -hmm. safety in Veractania is a second to none, really. Except for the infected granary stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Perfect, we'll have these criminals locked up by tomorrow. I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. <laughs> Wizard staff, magic hop. Anything could happen, can to give it a try? Yeah, what the heck, we're a betting nation in Veractania. The casinos are open 24-7. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, uh, a spell of great fortune. Uh -huh. Day 45 is complete. We lost a guy because we were feeling spooky, but when are we not feeling spooky, guys? I mean, are you feeling spooky? Let me know in the comments below if you are feeling spooky. <laughs> our happiness is up and our wealth is up, so things are going pretty well. I, I, I like it. I like it. I see no reason not to continue. <laughs> oh, the boots! Boots the cat, the boots the cat, the boots the cat. Yes, of course, you can have some some food boots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more spook. Mm -hmm. Always the spook. Heck yeah! Oh, the blood, it flows! Ah, I'm glad he didn't eat my butler, at least. As a part I'd like to go to this evening, my ladies, might I have the rest of the day off? <laughs> That's my butler noise, because he has the mustache. It's pretty, pretty nice mustache. Oh, oh, so, does he want the day? You know what? Pia, the, the advisor to the Celestial Kingdom, did come in, found the place spotless. So, you know what? I'll let you go to this par party and do some uh, butler keg stands. Mm -hmm. Why not? What the heck? Oh, wait. No! I meant to say yes. I just, I'm used to saying no because I want them to play spotless for our visitors, but uh, here we are. Sorry, butler! <laughs> hey, what's up, witch? There's a bunch of goblins in the lower corner. I'll slay them for a few gold coins if you want. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will! I'll show those creeps. Creeps is a double entendre here, since creeps is also a, a name for enemies in many online games. Fun fact, you probably already knew that. Let me over explain something for you guys. Ha! A pancake. Mew! It's that slightly magical cat from before. Does this mean we're friends now? Yes, we are totally friends, little pancake. Mrow! I guess we are. That's one happy magical cat. Gossip is spreading about the heroic purple witch slaying goblins in the lower quarter. She's something of a folk hero. I'm sure there are songs being written about her everywhere. Everywhere. Day 46 is complete. The population, once again, took a slight hit. But happiness is up, wealth is slightly down, and we got a, a, a good bit of, uh, of, of the people. We got more population from just the day passing over, so really. I mean, it, it's the small cost of having a vampire on the court that people should really know what they're getting into. What they're getting into is potentially being eaten by a vampire. Every, every city has its problems. This is ours. Ah, oh, it's my gardener. Would you like to buy some flowers from our garden? They're a special low price for you, sir. What the heck, mm -hmm. why not? Only five. Flowers are so lovely. Lovely. You're so lovely. A bonjour. Proceeds from the candy trade have been rolling in steadily. Mm -hmm. Here are your taxes. There they are. Here we go. Here we go. Uh. Boulder, I'm ready to make my report. It seems the merchant skills are being controlled by alien conspirators. Oh, dang. How do I know this? Sometimes you just know. You know. Should he, should he have like a... Oh man, he looks like he hasn't slept in forever. Yep, yep, I know. Mm -hmm. Mulder, I believe you. You gotta team up with Skelly. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you know. 
You're a nowhere. So he sounds all deep voice, but every time he moves, he's just like. <laughs> Mew. Oh, we are friends. Yes, we went over this. We are friends. Mew, meow. Mew, meow. Oh, good day, sir. Do you require any hunting services? Uh, <laughs> very well, uh, very well. Uh, <laughs> I would like to, but then I know, <laughs> I learned from the first time we played this, that people are not fond of being spooked like that. Let's do one more day, I think. Ah, bonjour. Proceeds. Yes, I would like mm. more taxes, please. Hey, guys, we have 420 happiness. Here is your share. I don't smoke. I just do it ironically. Ah, oh. hello, hello. I am well. I am the scientist. I do science for you, King. You see, the city has grown, and we have grown too. The science community, that is. We now have our very own council of science, of which I am the leader. Today, I simply wish to introduce myself, and now I have. I have. I will visit you again in the future regarding our projects, science projects. Meep, 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 nerd, 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 nerd. I'm a huge nerd, so I can say that. The man for my services is through the roof. May I have your permission to raise my prices? Yes, of course. This is a free tow or free nation. Except the fact that I rule everybody. You know, what are you gonna do? Monarchy's gonna monarch. Merci, merci, the Purpose Association thanks you. What are we, unionized? Look at the town. The town looks awesome. We got little spires in the back, and they look pretty rad. We got trees and stuff. The soup swaps pretty well. I can offer you some of our earnings. Mm -hmm. Nope, I will not take your earnings, Ramama. You're so humble. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Uh-oh. That party you hired earlier has gone missing, sire. Shall we send a search party? The guy with the eye patch? And he's suddenly missing now, huh? This seems sketchy. This seems like a job for Mulder and Skelly. Yes, mm -hmm. send them right away. We will find him at all costs. We'll get them. Hopefully he didn't steal anything from us. What a man with an eye patch would do? Steal things from us? Everything's going well, Peach King. I think I'm gonna do one more day. Ah, Pia! Make way, make way for King Andromedus, Lord of the Celestial Kingdom. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> You don't always need to make such a fuss about my entrances, Pio. Anyway, yes, hello, good king. I've heard much about you and your people. We in the council are quite impressed with you and would love to induct you. There's just one small issue. All four of the existing council members must be at present to induct a new member, but... I'm afraid Queen Chantrella and Queen Sirith are having a bit of a fight at the moment. We'll need to calm them down and settle their dispute before you can join the council. You should be hearing from their advisors shortly. I'm entrusting you with the task of reconciling the two queens. Best of luck to you, and afterwards, that seat on the council shall be yours. I love his cape! Dang, I love his cape! I'll keep an eye out for the advisors from the Ocean Kingdom and Plant Kingdom, sir. Okay, so Ocean and Plant Kingdoms. And these are- this is our advisor. So are they gonna have like a little advisor party? All the advisors just chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. I'm sure we can settle, what, settle whatever it is that's troubling their queens. <laughs> we are friends, how many? But cats must not have magical cats in particular. Must not have all that great memory retention. Because I have to keep telling this magical cat that we are in fact friends. I would pet its belly if it asked me to. Of course I would. Uh, yes, of course you may raise your prices. Well, I, everyone's happy that the prices are raised and I get money from it, so... Well, what's wrong? What, why would I ever not raise the prices? Ah, uh, yes! Thank you, tavern owners! This is going pretty well for me. Ah! <laughs> are we running out of content, guys? Is that what's going on here? I would figure that there's more random stuff to do. I can't believe I'm getting the same one. With the same ones. Oh, there's a party going on at the Jabber. All right. Day 49 is complete, guys. The happiness is up. Population from the day is up. And the wealth in our pockets is going pretty well. I am pretty satisfied with how things are going. And I know that with your help, guys, we are going to reconcile the two queens' little tiff from the Council of Crowns. 
But let me know, guys, what you're thinking of this Let's Play so far. Leave me a comment below if you're enjoying. But I do hope you enjoy watching as much as I enjoy playing. Either way, thank you so much for making my play experience your play experience. Please remember to find Advisor Pierre as she enters and make way for that giggly person with the fancy awesome cape that has stars and stuff on it. And maybe raise it a little bit and find the subscribe button that's actually on his butt and press it already if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! I see you have that broadsword there and you illuminate it over your head. Ready to bring it down on my face, but how about first perhaps we have a cup of tea? I don't want to investigate it. <laughs> oh, what the balls? Oh, no, technical I'm not into this. You are, but uh. Careful, careful, careful. And we have one butt, and it only needs one hole.